Even if no one believes you, at least you know the truth, and you've done nothing wrong. That's enough. Uh, in this case, not really. <laughs> Congratulations, Emil. Today you've joined the elite ranks of peeping toms all over the world. <laughs> oh, wow. No! Okay. Oh, I, lo I love that one. It it's just... Best part in the game. If you ever play this game, play it for just that part. That is just like butt fucking hilarious. Um. Oh my god, computer, don't do that. It scares me. <sighs> periodically restores HP. I want that periodically respawn. Uh, what? Restores HP. Computer, turn on now, or I'll slap the shit out of you. Ugh. Okay. That restores one, but I want the one that restores, like, three. Damn it! Will you? Wait a second, I have one of those! Sweet! Okay, cool. Equip. Get rid of that heal mark, put on that heal symbol. So it's three percent periodically, which is a good thing. And that does that. So, um, a defense will go down, but physical defense and TP will go up. So, uh, I'll put I will put that on. So I'll keep energy arc. And I'll put this on her. Okay. I'm still keeping that Echo Tracer. That thing is like just awesome. Dusk Bandana. P defense increase and TP increase and HP increase. Oh, wait, wait. Huh? How does it increase the TP? Um. That is a oh that's a decrease oh oh that's that's bad look at shit I don't want it when I put that on a long time ago I thought that said increase but nope look at these these weapons are just like but fucking raping weapons they are they have all their best weapons and best armor. And all the best of the best, and we have like shit still. Oh, what is cat? Meow. Uh, by all means, please avail yourself to the spring. The spring has many benefits to offer. Oh well, no shit. Let's go inside of the little hut thing. It's people. A good soak in the community spring provides all sorts of health benefits. Uh, okay. Whenever I come to the spring with my grandma, we end up staying in for a really long time. The heat always makes me feel like I'm gonna faint. Uh, okay, whatever. That was completely useless, so why the fuck I have this room? Uh, whatever. Video game logic still astounds me. Where's that? That's over here. Some fat man. Ah! Oh, huh. Unknown. Hello! Diglett! I haven't seen you in like forever. Well done, you found me. I'm the mysterious gourmet, the wonder chef. I shall have give you this. Uh, uh, I shall give you this as proof. Use it well. You obtain the recipe for fried rice. Yum. Now then, farewell. Diglett, use dig. Diglett escaped to the outside and went somewhere. Like, where the fuck does? Where the fuck does the diglet go after it uses dig on the outside? Like, WTA. Ah ha 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 ha. Lolpastic. Anyways. Um, is it after we go to the Summon Spirit of Heart that we get the little, um, cutscenes and... Flanor, there you go. Ah, hurry up, I don't care. Flanor! Um, yes, maybe, sort of. Um, probably not yet, but later. We get special cutscenes here in Flanor. How about we go to, I don't know, Luan maybe? Luan? 
we got something cool in here, Lewin? Can we go up and talk to the, um, these people? Dot dot dot. And you! Okay, so that's nothing. Um, how about over here? Let me go to high now. Oh, yes! We get it! We get it! Yes! I, I like this part. It's actually kind of nice. Dex! Hey there, kid. Looks like you brought the whole gang. I didn't expect to find you here, imposter. This is where Alice and I grew up. You two were raised in the orphanage here, right? Oh, so you know about that. The orphanage used to be right here. It's been a good eight years since then. A man named Bernie told us about it. He said Alice summoned monsters to attack the orphanage. Hmm, that's not entirely true. Alice was only trying to save my life. What do you mean? There was this group of adventurers. One of them was killed and his valuables were stolen. They blamed me. <laughs> the real culprits were the orphanage director and his sons. But no one would listen to me. That's terrible. The others lynched me and were about to kill me. No one in the orphanage so much as lifted a finger. But then monsters attacked. The orphanage was completely destroyed. The director, his sons, and the adventurers were all killed. Alice did all that? This did that. That's the bone of a demon. Exactly. The monsters in Haima were drawn to it. Demons live in our world in very small numbers. Of course, most are weakened by the mana flowing through this world. Alice made a pact with one such demon. She agreed to find the forbidden tome of demon lords in exchange for the demon's power. You mean the book demon lords are sealed inside? Or so they say. The demon who helped Alice was the servant of a demon lord, sealed into the book by the hero Mythos. However, the demon passed away leaving only its bones behind, and Alice was freed. But at the same time, she lost the ability to control monsters, which is why she has to rely on machines to do it for her. The weaker demons must have been destroyed by mana when we burned the forbidden book, severing the connection to the demon lords. Anyway, I don't know all the details, but Alice made a pact with the demon to save my life. Dex, I... So I don't care about your approval. All I want to do is fulfill Alice's wishes, whatever they may be. If not for Alice, I'd be dead right now. The rest of my life belongs to her. No, Dex, your life belongs to you. And I've decided to give it to her. There. That should bring Haima some peace. Even if all my memories of this place are bad ones, it's still my hometown. I just wanted to set things straight before I left for the Ginungagap. The Ginungagap? I'd prefer not to fight you if I can help it. Later, kid. You're just going to let him leave? I wanted to confront him about Palmacosta and a lot of other things. But I never expected him to say what he said. The more you know your enemy, the harder it is to fight them. And yet, I think it's better to have that knowledge than to fight in ignorance. Yeah. So now we have this happy little town. Uh, it's happy little music now. Yeah. This is Haima's normal music, rather than that creepy ghost kind of music. And honestly, I prefer it a lot more to the creepy ghost music. I think it's a lot better. Yeah. Still monsters running about, too. That's kind of annoying. You startled me. Open for business. You want to buy something? Uh, not really. No. Sorry. But yeah. After that cutscene, it kind of made me have sympathy for Alice and Dex. 
for a bit, because, you know, their childhoods kind of suck.